So suppose we want to do an application and this in this application what we want to do is to calculate the interest rate of a deposit that you make in a bank. The bank tells you, okay, if you make any deposit every year you get 5% uh, interest. So um, you want to know in the next 5 or 10 years, let's say 10 years, what would be um, the amount of money that you have uh, with interest. So uh, you put, you make a deposit, let's say $100 or $1,000. So what we want to do is this $1,000 get 5% interest the first year. What would be at the end of the first year? Your amount means the deposit plus its interest. Then the second year will be the amount at the beginning plus the 5% of the first year on the top of it another 5% for the second year. So this is what we call the composite interest. It means the interest of the interest. So let's take the calculator. Okay. So what we are talking about is I make a deposit of $100. At the end of the first year, I get 5% interest. So the total amount will be 1.05 times $100, means my money will be $105. This is at the end of the first year. So I don't withdraw this $5. Okay, for the second year, starting of the second year, my original amount will be $105. Then plus the 5% of the total. So it will be this 110.25. Why we call it a composite interest? Well, it's because you see this 5% here okay, is applied to the $5 means that the interest of the first year. Okay, So that's why we call it the composite uh, interest rate. So we want to code this. So in order to code this, we're going to go here. You see this plus on this kind of a directory. I click on it, I take the first one, which is Java, by default is Java application, as a type of project. Then I do next. Here I have to give it a name. So I'm gonna give it a name, interest. Then I can click here, and it says create main class interest interest okay i click on it because in this case i will have just one single class which has a main so i can use this kind of a shortcut so the id take care of creating this so here we are i have um, a if we look at here in the browser, then you see that I have a project called interest. I have a package inside this uh, project called interest. Then I have the class interest. Okay, I'm going to clean this just because I don't need them, all of them. We don't need them here we don't need them. so I have a class interest inside the class I have my main method so you remember in um, C++ we were doing ENT main parenthesis and then this curly braces 
in Java we do the syntax is like this so it's a public method okay the name is main here it takes some argument we use this if we want to do we want to we have some argument and we want to do it on the common line okay so traditionally we put it here because we don't want to do it on common line so it's a method it doesn't return anything because it's a void okay it's public so everybody have access to it then it's static what it means by being static actually means that if any other class wants to use this or call this main method they don't need to make a uh, uh, an object create an object of this class interest and call the method main this is a method that they can call it directly from the class that's why it's a static I'm gonna see like in in another more explanation about this static but for now just learn that this is a main method the main engine and we put our code here okay so the first thing that I need I want to declare a variable from type double okay I'm gonna call my variable amount and this amount I initialize it to zero okay. then I say okay what is the amount of the of the after one year suppose my original deposit is one thousand dollar okay let's make it hundred dollars so it will be easier to understand and the formula will be times 1.05 okay so the amount after one year is 100 times 1.5 let's do a calculation here so here is beginning of year one my original deposit is hundred dollars then end of year one it will be hundred dollar plus five percent of hundred dollar and this five percent is the interest rate so five percent of the original amount will be uh, five dollar plus hundred is hundred and five dollar so finally this is my original uh, amount after uh, this is my final amount after one year so at the beginning of the second year actually is the same amount as the end of the first year so at the end of year two what would be it would be my uh, beginning month plus the interest so what is my beginning amount my beginning amount if all of this right this is my beginning amount and what is the formula for uh, to calculate the interest here it will be five percent okay of my beginning amount here we go so I put this in inside parentheses okay if I look at it this and this are the same so I can write to make it easier to understand this times one which is this 
this type one plus this which I have it already here times 0 0.5 Here we are. So I have 1 plus 0 0.5. So it's fair that I, if I want to say, this is my formula. The beginning amount in each year plus the interest. And the interest is the 5%. Instead of that, in order to be easier to understand and to code, I do the beginning amount times 1 plus the interest okay I put all of this in uh, comment okay when we want to do comment it's like this so forward the slash star then you do you put your stuff then star forward the slash you close it that's how you make a comment on multiple line okay so uh, i want to make it for um, 10 years right so if i want to make it for 10 years i have to put it in a loop so i do four this is smaller or equal to 10 or i could start from n zero and go n smaller or equal smaller than 10 then i increment it i open the curly braces right so i have to enter my formula here so i do the amount is equal to 100 okay time so the number of year okay it will be the number of year uh, the original amount times 1.05 times the number of year 1.05 okay uh, to the power of uh, year the number of year okay so how can i show this in java actually if i go because i need the power so if i go here and i want to go to the java documentation so i do java um mat I am in the Java mat here. As you can see, I have a class belonging to the package lang and it's called mat. Okay. This class mat has many methods that I can use uh, in order to do my different calculation. And one of them is the method power that I need to use okay so this math it's a final class so final means in Java that nobody can inherit from the class math the class math is the end of the chain okay and it's extending from object so it's normal object is the mother of all the classes and everybody all the classes in java are extending from object so it says it's extinct from object so if we go down 